Good morning everybody from Costa Rica. Um, I hope you're all really well. I am in San Jose at the moment. I've just woken up at my airport hotel because the direct flight from London gets us in at 5 p.m. to San Jose and the last plane over to Cabana, which is Santa Teresa, leaves at 5 p.m. <laughs> so always have to have a night um, at the hotel, which is fine. There's a nice restaurant across the way. Um, so I just ate, showered, gymmed, and then, and not letting that order, and then went to bed and had a big sleep. I feel like my soul has left my body with the time difference, but it's gonna be fine. I will be on my little plane across to Santa Teresa in like the next hour and a half. And then today the plan is ice bath, catch up with the girls, go to the beach. What day is it? Wednesday. Yeah, go to the beach, the sunset. Well, go to the beach all day. I just want to be in the water desperately. I've missed surfing today because um, it would normally go at like five, six. I was checking the tide and high tide was perfect at that time this morning. So tomorrow I'm going surfing for the first time. I'm scared, but it's going to be fine. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and that's it really. So yeah, I get to Gabano Airport. Then I have to get a taxi to Santa Teresa, which is like 20 minutes, and it's normally about $40 or something. Um, straight to mine and my friend Kerry's little jungle house that we rented together for the month. She's already in there. Um, so yeah, I'll just get in, get sorted, and then get straight down. We're gonna go to this place called Somos, which I love um, for like a brunch thing after we've done the ice bath. So I'm just straight back into my routine here, which is just, honestly, I'm just so happy. So, so happy to be here, can't tell you. Um, so I'm gonna get some breakfast now and I'll get myself to the airport ready for my little domestic flight over to Cabano. But I'll take you along. The little plane um, journey and experience is absolutely something to behold. It's very beautiful. So I'll film that for you because like it, the view is unbelievable. And it's um, a 12 seater plane. So there's barely any one on it. And yeah, it's just a really gorgeous experience. And it's really quite cheap actually. I think it's like a hundred dollars to get over there, um, which I think is good. It was like 25 minute journey. Otherwise it's a seven hour drive and I was like, absolutely not doing that. Oh, I'll just quickly tell you what I'm wearing as well um, in case you've got any holidays coming up too. My tank is from Reformation and they do them in a black, a black one as well, but I just really like the square neck. I think it's really, really lovely. And it's quite like, it's not super thick, but it's quite like tight. Um, and then my shorts, I'm absolutely in love. These are from Free People Movement. They're so cool. They've got just the best stuff. I've got loads of free people moving with me for this trip as well. And then I've got on some like limited edition Birkenstocks, which I love. They've got like an ankle strap on. They feel very chunky, but I really like them. I think they're a collaboration. I think I got them from Matches, but like Matches isn't really around anymore. So maybe we can try and find them on Meta Portrait or something for you. I'll put a link in um, in case you do want them, but they're very comfy. Um, yeah, and I'm sick of just wearing flip-flops all the time. I mean, I'm not sick of it, but I'm like, maybe I need to make more of an effort. <laughs> Near passengers at the left of the aircraft at the uh, island is called Turtle Island. It's not going to go It's because it has the shape of a sea turtle from a certain angle of view. You can see the head, the hump of the leg. This island has near water, white sand, and it comes up down here to the south banana right. And large. And at the right of the aircraft, that beach over there, that's Kuro. I just got to the house. I'm just being quiet because Kerry, who I'm living with, is a therapist and she's got some clients, but I'll just show you now quick. This is my little bedroom. There's lots of light, a very comfy bed, which I've already tested out. Bathroom in here. This is like the main living space. It's quite small, everywhere's quite small in Costa Rica, but I think it's all worth it for this view. Oh my god. So exciting. Down there is a pool. I'll take you to that and show you that later, but yeah. <laughs> Hello guys. I'm just coming out of the house, all unpacked and ready. It's so beautiful where we're staying. My god, like <laughs> it is madness. Like, I can't believe how beautiful it is. Well, I can, but I just got a bikini on that I bought here last time from a swimwear brand called Pima. And my shorts from this morning and just some Javianas. And I'm just gonna be reacquainted with my quad bike. So I'm gonna drive down into town now, um, go to the beach, get a coconut, and just get
just get myself straight. I feel a bit sick, but it's just because I've been traveling. Um, just the nausea, but all good. <laughs> Even comes with a little hatch on the back so you can put all your bits and bobs in there. I don't know why I've brought nice new stuff with me because I just know all that happens here is dust and grime. Ugh, that's in there. Perfect, I can lock that up and we will be away in a minute. First coconut Costa Rica, I am a very happy girl. That place I'm showing you then is called Annie's and it is so good for brunch and breakfast and stuff. Um, I'm just going to the beach and chill, walk, oh, put my feet in the water, get in the water, swim, then I've got an ice bath. Good morning everybody from my first morning in Costa Rica, in Santa Teresa. I, um, it's 5am, <laughs> well no it's half five now. Um, I always wake up so early here, first I pick it in the jet lag but then I quite like that it carries on because I surf normally at five, half five, but there's a massive swell here and watching the waves on the beach yesterday I was like absolutely not and even our mates that surf really well um, and surf every day as well like they were coming out and being like it is not worth it it's like seven foot waves at the moment it's absolutely crazy but amazing to watch um, so the swell's not going to calm down for like two more days I've gutted but it's not worth it it's just literally not worth it um, so I'm whispering because Kerry's bedroom's just there and I don't want to wake her up um, just such the best first day and best first night. Last night went to this really gorgeous place um, for dinner. God, what's it called? Corvina. Um, and it's not far from where we're staying. And we just went with the group that we, we always hang out with. And I met a couple new people who have like come into the group since I've been away, which is so nice. Um, and I think it's just so loud, full of animals here. Um, I think that today we're going to get up and go to yoga this morning. And I think I just want like, I just want some, sorry, my f hand's hurting from the ATV because you have to like push the ignition the whole time and hold it on. Um, I think I just want some like beach time today and time to read and journal and probably nap at this rate because oh, oh, five, five o'clock. Um, so I'm just going to sit and journal now and get a cup of tea probably. And just wait for Kerry to wake up so we can go to yoga and I probably also go to surf training um, it's basically a surf circuit training so it helps you with your like cardio strength and like it's really dynamic um, so it really helps with all of like the movements you have to do in the water and on your board so yeah I'm gonna do that I think that's like a four though and it's outdoors so it's always an absolute sweat fest but yeah I'm just like most days are going to be like this so I hope that it's not too boring for you because it's I just slip into this really like low key routine here that is just like fuss free and just my favourite thing in the world I just feel instantly calm and I'm just so happy here honestly um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some journaling now and then yeah I'll catch up with you in a bit as we go along through the day noise is monkeys <laughs> it is 
is mad. They're so loud here. Hello everyone, how are you? Um, I've had a really nice day today. I was on the beach for a while, went to yoga this morning. Actually, Kerry told me that she was going to this really nice stretching yoga class and actually what it did was kick my, kick my ass so bad. It was so hard. I'm looking at her and she's locked out of her Instagram so she's not paying me any attention. <laughs> um, it was really, really hard and so sweaty and I was going to go and do like a circuit training class this afternoon but I decided against that because it was so hard this morning. And I spent some time on the beach, read my book and then we came back up to the house and we've been having some snacks and I'm just waiting for sunset up here because it's just going to be crazy. Um, I'm going to show you my bikini actually, which is from Bondi and they don't do specific sizes it's like a one size fits all and it's really stretchy um but i really like this color um and just take my trousers off to show you the bottoms but they are um yeah really nice and i also have some surf shorts that go with this look so i can wear them for surfing but the bottoms are really nice as well and they're just little tiny ones um but yeah really comfy so i'll put a link on for those for you um what else are we doing? We might go for like a dance tonight, but I'm, hmm, I don't feel like that's looking very likely between the two of us. We're both tired. I've been up since five o'clock. It'd be sick of me these lot. I've been on here since five o'clock this morning. Oh, never sick of me. Never sick of me. Um, and that's it really. I don't really have much else to report. It's been a really nice, gorgeous, slow day. And I'm just enjoying, like I say, this sunset from up here for the first time. And yeah, honestly, just very, very, very happy to be here. And I hope you've all had a lovely day and I'll probably now just catch up with you tomorrow. Bye! God, it's so gorgeous. This is the pool area, guys. Kerry is coming to be my photographer because she's an angel. <laughs> Um, I hope you're all really well and that you had a nice evening and stuff. Um, it's like maybe 8.30 a.m. Kerry just came to help me take some photos down at the pool area uh, of where we live. So that went really well. And we're going to do a little hit workout on the balcony, which is just out here. And then we're going to head down and check the waves for surfing. But I think it's going to be, I do think it's going to be too big. It, like the reports say, it's too big for us. <laughs> but um, we're gonna see how it how it feels when we get down there. Cause I really, really, really just wanna surf, but I don't know if it's worth it. It wasn't worth it yesterday. Um, and I don't know if it's gonna be much the same today, but from tomorrow it's perfect. So I think we're trying to flog a dead horse today, to be honest. Um, <laughs> she just walked past the window. Um, and that's about it. Like literally it's Friday and I don't really have any plans. We're just gonna be at the beach. I don't wanna swim a lot. Um, I might try and find like a yoga later or something. This weekend we're doing um, like a breath work healing ceremony, which is like just this incredible like property around the corner from us where we're staying. Um, yeah, it's just a very slow life here, which is why I was like, oh, the vlog is gonna be really slow. But yeah, I'll take you along with all the bits that I do, but it's just gonna be very beachy, surfy. And yeah, that's it really. It's just so beautiful here. I feel very, very at peace. Um, yeah um yeah i'm gonna go now and we're gonna do this workout and then we'll head down probably in the next hour or so but i'll let you know about the surf report and hopefully i can surf but i'm gonna go dressed like i'm surfing i'm gonna mentally prepare <laughs> Hi guys, I've just come out of the ice bath. I did 14 minutes today. Um, it's normally around four or five degrees, I think. Yeah, I can't feel my feet right now, but it's gonna be fine. I always like to sit in the sun straight after. Um, but the guy we do it with is just oh, top class human. Like we just talk about life. And I think that's why it goes so fast because 
um, when I was first doing it I was in there for like two or three minutes and then now yeah I just I could sit in there for well, until however long but I just love it so much it makes me feel so energized and just so like oh just so good um, so yeah ice bath done then I'm gonna go to the beach in a minute I think I'll dry off a little minute um, put some cream on go to the beach I've got a book that my friend who I'm living with Kerry um, I said I might mention she's a therapist she's a very very good one um, where is it? it's called this is a very well-known book um, but I'm really interested in this kind of stuff now obviously from my little healing awakening in Costa Rica it's called the untethered soul and it's by Michael Singer it's called the untethered untethered soul the journey beyond yourself um, and yeah it's like a New York Times bestseller who are you really well we're gonna find out when I get to the beach <laughs> and yeah I'm just gonna do that today I've done some really nice meditations I started using this app that all my friends here a lot of them are American or lived in LA before they came here and I met one of the teachers who, who works at this place it's called open um, and it's an LA based thing but they have this app and they have incredible meditations and breathwork classes you can tune in live or you can um, just do the ones that are like listed on there but it's so good um, so I've just downloaded it and Kerry and I did one this morning about intuition and it's like really powerful um, and I just feel really connected to myself here and really connected to just everything and nature especially and I think it's really important for me um, and I'm just a bit annoyed that I got to 36 and didn't know this about myself until this year <laughs> but anyway um, I'd be interested to know if you guys have like ever felt like that in your lives or like what feels connected to you and yeah like anything interesting that you've come across I'd love to read it too or look at it or have a chat with you and yeah I, just, I think it's all really fascinating and a really beautiful thing anyway I'm gonna go now and get to the beach Hi everyone on YouTube. This is Kerry and this is Lara. And Why did together, you make a peace sign? We are, who did you? Did you? <laughs> They're really cool, both of them. <laughs> me and Kerry are living together. Me and Lara lived together last time I was here. And they're my whole world. <laughs> we're over <laughs> Babies. Babies. Anyway, we've had a really nice day and we're just sitting down. We watched sunset and we're going to have some food and then do what we always do and go to bed early. Good morning guys from the jungle house. I hope you are really well this morning. I am just about to... There's some work happening. <laughs> um, I'm just about to go down to the beach to surf for the first time and so I am feeling very nervous. <laughs> it's been four weeks since I have been in the water and I have been meditating and breathing this morning trying to get myself prepared because I feel I don't know like I'm surfing at the beach that I surfed at last when I had like I had quite a bad bad session the first time I got in the water here in January and it really like messed up my confidence for the whole time I was here like bar the last two weeks of my trip so I'm just trying to get to grips with the fact that I'm going back into that specific water which I think is fine. I was in it all day yesterday. I walked all the way out with my mate while she tried to surf. It was a terrible day surfing, but she wanted to try and tried to get my head on. Um, it's a really emotional, like, it's like emotionally laborious surfing because it's such joy and such connection, but it's also so, like, hard and frustrating. And it really, I beat myself up about it so much. So it, it's like, it's, I don't know, it's, entwined in a lot um, it makes me feel a lot it's making me feel a lot right now <laughs> um, so yeah I'm gonna head down to the beach and go for a session I'll let you know how it pans out when I'm when I'm done um, I'm sure it's gonna be beautiful I'm really excited as well it's just I'm excited and nervous and I just wish the excitement was more but the only way I'm gonna get that back is getting in the water um, and like I've just been thinking about a lot about doing things that scare us or that feel um, like 
that feel hard or complicated, on the other side of that is where the joy is because you feel accomplishment, you feel happy, you feel strong and brave. So I'm hoping that that's what happens for me today. <laughs> we can but hope. Um, so yeah, I'm like, I'm feeling, I've had a funny morning this morning. Like, I've just been feeling so good since I got here. I've only been here for like three days, but I had a bit of an anxiety wobble in the night last night, out of nowhere I was fast asleep and then this morning just woke up with the overhang of you know when you felt anxious or like sad and it's just really been present and I don't know how much of that is like worrying about surfing and just feeling my way through what my life looks and feels like because I didn't obviously vlog the last time I was here because what <laughs> it can only be described as morning hola um, it can only be described as aggressive healing when I came here last time. I was just really trying to get to the bottom of myself and connection and things like that. And so it wasn't it wasn't easy, but it was the best thing I've ever done for myself. So I'm a person that meditates now. <laughs> and the girls keep saying here, they're like, mm, how many meditations have you done today? I'm like, three. <laughs> and before I'd be like, I can't sit still, can't do that, I can't do that. And now I feel really connected to myself and it's really beautiful. I can't remember what my point was. Anyway, I just like feel like I'm learning a lot um all the time <laughs> and it's hard it's hard to sit with yourself it's hard to uncover what you want for yourself in your life what gives you like utter joy what brings you peace um and places bring peace people bring peace but the most important piece is that you create yourself and that's what i'm trying to work on costa rica is the place that brings me peace because I connected with myself for the first time so deeply here. So it always has that energy for me and it allows me to connect more to myself here so it kind of like spurs everything on, but I wanna be able to carry that back to London and everywhere I am in the world. Um, so that's what I'm gonna work on this time is like retaining it because it's great and it comes really easily to me here. Um, but when I got back to London, it was a different story. Anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you all this. I hope it's helpful in some way. If you are also on some kind of healing journey, I'm also doing my period. So maybe that's why I feel so weird. But anyway, feelings are feelings. And I'm just gonna try and be in my body today and not my mind. So I'm gonna do yoga, surf, be on the beach, I'm gonna read, um, and that's it. And this is four and a half minutes long. And that was, yeah, waffly. And yeah, thanks for listening. And I hope you are all really well and having a lovely weekend. And I am going to report back to you after surf with a full report <laughs> of how it's gone down. Um, but hola. Um, yeah, that's it for me for now. And I will speak to you later. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> We've not had a good session. <laughs> Kerry took a board to the face. <laughs> I caught exactly one wave. The waves were just so fast and so big and unpredictable. It was a really hard first session back after four weeks, but I'm glad I did it. I got out there, paddle light helm, and I caught one good wave. I mean, it was half good, it wasn't good. <laughs> and that's it. And now we're gonna go and eat and reflect <laughs> and try and relax. We're gonna take a beach now. We're gonna go for a beach now. But Kerry did so good as well. And Lara's showering in there, and she also was just, we all had a rough time. We had fun, we had fun. It was fun though. I'm really glad that I did it and my nerves have now gone away and I just have like insatiable hunger <laughs> that I need to fix. <sighs> and I need a hibiscus cooler. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> You may be mad at me. <laughs> okay, that surf session could have been way worse. It started slow and it started with no waves for quite a long time. And then I caught loads of waves and it was great. And the tide changed and it was so nice out there today. So, so nice. And it made me really proud of myself because I paddled my help. Got caught on the inside so many times, didn't panic. I was just like, here we go again. And normally that's the thing that makes me scared when I get caught under a set and then you're just in a washing machine for ages, but I'm just, learning to be calmer and breathe so i managed to do that today and it's so beautiful out there like the waves are so good today so pleased i went in because i got here and i was like i'm out of surf today and everyone was like yeah you will 
and I, I did and I'm like super happy so yeah gonna dry off and get some breakfast with the girls Hi guys, hope you're really well and that you've had a nice day so far. I'm just back at the house at the pool. It's so beautiful down here. It just literally looks out onto the jungle. It's so amazing. I'm so shattered after serving but just feel so happy that I had such a nice session. Um, I'm just going to read in the shade for a bit. I've been reading a book. Did I tell you this yesterday? I've been reading a different book a book that Carrie's given to me that I think everyone should read. It's called The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. I think I did speak to you about it now, I'm saying this again. Anyway, I'm halfway through it now and it's making a lot of sense and it's a really comforting, gorgeous book. Um, whether you're interested in, in anything spiritual or not, it's about your internal monologue and how your thoughts are not your friends. Um, and it's actually just very reassuring. So I am... Um, I thought everybody just had an internal monologue and that's apparently not true, not everybody does, but I do um, and it is loud, <laughs> so it's a really nice book for that um, and I'm feeling brighter today, just woke up at five, went straight to surfing so I haven't had time to like let any unhappy thoughts come in or anything, any weird like stress or anxiety so I actually, yeah, I've had a really nice day so far and it's only like, I'm sure it's only midday or something so I'm just going to nap and read and just swim and then like I said before me and Kerry are going to um, let's just bugs everywhere a kundalini class later so I'm looking forward to that, I have no idea what to expect and I did watch a YouTube video and was like okay, <laughs> what is this <laughs> but um, it's going to be fun and it's only around the corner so I'll do that and then we're going to just cook at our house, maybe come down here actually and eat and just have a little sunset just in a slow day, guys. Um, yeah, that's it, really. Yeah, feeling really happy and content today. Um, yeah, thanks for being here. I hope this is all alright and not just... I know you guys wanted me to show you Costa Rica life and this is essentially it. <laughs> so that's fine. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you later if anything else happens. I'll report back on Kundalini. Um, I'm expecting to feel quite wiped out after it, but I'll see. Hello guys. You're going to have to excuse the state of my chin. My period has arrived. I'm an absolute vengeance. Oh, how are you all? Um, it's like maybe 11am now. And I was up at five, um, no, up at, yeah, up at five, surfing at six. And it was a really amazing session today. The waves were so good. It was honestly like, I just, I just I took to it like a duck to water, for want of a better um, this phrase. It was a really special day in the water. And it was at a beach that I'm usually petrified of. And I just went in, I had like, proportionate amount of butterflies as you should with extreme sports <laughs> getting into the water and I just did so well and I was just so proud of myself uh, so I'm gonna I'm on a 9.6 long board at the moment but I am gonna start dropping down the board sizes now I surf on a performance board which is like like a great board but um it just feels too big to maneuver at the moment and I want to try and work more on like cutbacks and like these technical things in the water that make you faster and a better surfer and it's just near on impossible <laughs> with a board that big even when you get like caught on the inside where after a wave breaks and then it's like the breaking zone where it actually breaks and you get stuck there and it breaks on top of you constantly 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 even trying to like whiz your board around quick to get back on it and paddle back out through the waves is so hard because the board is so big I'm just like for goodness sake so yeah I'm gonna drop down the board sizes now I think I'm gonna find it really hard because I'm six foot tall um, and I'm used to having a lot of space on the board to play with but I'm never gonna get better and push on if I don't like go down with the board sizes so yeah that was my little 
probably quite boring technical analysis of board sizes <laughs> for you. Um, but I hope you're all really well and everything. Um, I've just been such a little like sweaty, grotty rat, like surfing, I stink, <laughs> I'm crusty, so I just had the nicest shower. I'm just set my little pyjamas outside. Um, now my housemate Kerry uh, does, she's a therapist and she's amazing, but she's in clients, which is why I'm being um, quiet. So I'm gonna make some lunch and then I've got an ice bath today. I do it three times a week here. Um, I wish he did it more to be fair, but it's three times a week, which is fine. Um, so it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it's Monday today. So I am gonna head down to town after lunch, go and do the ice bath, and then I'm gonna, and then I've got a call after the ice bath actually, and then me and the girls are going to sunset armed with playing cards and a bat and ball set. So we're gonna have a very active sunset up from about half four, um, and then just a very chilled dinner, like, go for tea somewhere really chilled where I don't have to look anything more than this <laughs> we'll all be in swimwear and stuff so yeah it's just honestly the easiest loveliest fuss free life here which I think is why I like it so much so many reasons anyway oh my god I didn't tell you about the energy healing thing that I did last night it was called did I even tell you this yesterday was a complete blur it was called Kundalini also known as CAP K-A-P I barely know anything about it. Kerry's really into this sort of stuff. Um, she she told me about that where they were having a session and I've been really into kind of like working on myself in that way and doing lots of energy work and healing as much as I can and it's been a really beautiful experience for me. Uh, very eye-opening and interesting and intense and sad, but really good. And I'm uh, very proud of myself. And um, yeah, we went to this thing last night and I was, she just kept saying she doesn't know that much about it, but it's really powerful. And lots of her therapist friends and people in the community just rave about it. And apparently it was a really special healer who came across from Argentina to be with us last night. And she didn't speak any English. And honestly, the, being in the presence of that woman, I was like, I didn't know where to put myself. She was a really sp special person. Like, I can't describe it. It's crazy. Anyway, we had this really intense couple of hours there was probably like nine ten of us all laid down like this was the view because <sighs> the house that we do it at is just behind ours um and she took us through this like sound journey of incredible music that was sent to provoke different emotions and thoughts and processes and stuff and she did lots of energy work on each of us there were three practitioners there and um, my body was on fire and lots of tingling, lots of movement. But then the thing that I can't get to grips with, because I can understand energy because it's science, the thing I can't get to grips with is the feelings that came. So I had like grief, sadness, like overwhelm, but like overwhelmingly happy. So I was crying. And then at the very end, just so much love. Like I can't describe what the hell happened. Nobody touched me. <laughs> just. just just felt so much love in my body and like all in my chest and my tummy um and this is all so new to me so i'm only like explaining the experiences that i've had um and i you know do your own research go go check it out if it's something you're interested in or like talk to me talk to me if you do stuff like this like it's a whole new world to me and even when i go back and tell my friends what i've been up to they're like what <laughs> i'm like i know i don't know it just feels like the thing that i need to be doing so yeah, I'm gonna keep doing it until, you know, whilst it feels good and if it doesn't one day then I won't do it anymore, but so far it was really helping me and um, yeah, I feel really good and light today. Uh, yeah, it was an amazing evening. So anyway, I'm gonna leave you with that. You probably all think I'm bonkers and I'm, my dad keeps saying, are you gonna come home a hippie? And my brother's like, you got dreadlocks yet? And I'm like, oh guys, please. <laughs> That's what they're here to do, aren't they? Brothers and dads sent to wind you up. Um, but yes, I will catch up with you soon. Maybe, actually, it's Monday today. Do you know what? I'm going to sign my vlog off now so I can go and have a day breather in between filming. And then, yeah, I um, will catch up with you next week. But I hope this has been all right. Like, just, yeah, being in Costa Rica with me. And I hope you had a great weekend and that you're feeling good and would be really interested to chat to anybody that's kind of like been through or is going through a bit of a healing journey. I guess it never stops, but 
yeah anyway i'm going but thank you so much for watching and being here and goodbye from me and my spots see you next week